Spellbinding World of Harry Potter and Fantastic Beast. So, this is the very first box from Loot Crate uh, of this kind. This is really, really awesome. I don't know what to expect. I don't know if it's going to have Harry Potter or the Magical Beast inside, or if it's going to be a mixture, but man. If you guys want detail on pricing, I'll have it over here. Cool. So, yeah, let's get into this box. Um, On the front, what is this? What? Uh, Muggle Worthy? What is this? Okay, so uh, that was magical. Um, they must have put a spell on that. All right. So I, I, I kind of see, I only saw a shirt on top. Good, so it's not spoiled for me. Shirt first, shirt first. Oh my god, dude, I'm so excited. I saw the movie and it was amazing. You guys need to see it. What is, oh, this, is this gonna be like a, a newspaper? The New York Ghost Magical Disturbances Risk Wizarding. That is awesome. So it's basically like a newspaper ad from that timeline. Well, I think it, I think it takes place in 1926. So, you know this is from Magical Beast because it has uh, the New York ghost on it, which is the, the magical newspaper column that they have in New York City. Um, so that's really cool. Right there is a closer look. Let's put that on. Um, I don't have a magic wand, so we'll just use this as our magical. <laughs> Awesome. That will do, Donkey. That will do. I like the style, and I like that it is. If someone sees you with this on, they're gonna they're gonna want to read what it says because of all the writing on it, and they're gonna be like they're gonna be able to identify when it says New York Ghost, and be like, oh, that's Magical Beast. So that's really cool. I didn't go into detail about all of the columns on here and all the stories on here, but after it, I'm gonna read it myself. Next item. I actually think there's a Funko Pop in here, and that's really cool because it has to be an exclusive. We're gonna we're gonna wait for that though. Next. I think it's a plush. <laughs> That's really cool though. I think I've seen this on like a spoiler uh, ad or something for the box. That's that's fine though, because I didn't know it was gonna be in here. That is really soft too. So I'm cool with this because this is really good quality right here. You got an owl. Now this has to be Hedwig. Oh no, it's a uh, Pidge Pidgewidgeon. Pidgewidgeon? Pidgewidgeon? Right there. That is the name whether I'm pronouncing it correctly or not. So yeah, this is from Harry Potter, not from Magical Beast, this is from Harry Potter. Oh, and this is made by uh, QMX right there. QMX makes that, that's pretty cool. Very good company. And this is really, this is so soft. It's like a, it's like microfiber, it's really soft. Right here's a closer look for you guys. That, man, look at the detail on that. That looks amazing. This is cool, his wings even kind of uh, come apart right here, so you can see his wings. This is really soft too. Super soft. This is awesome. And he stands up. Check that out. You stay right there, buddy. Already happy with this box. Next item. We got, uh, whoa, whoa. This is kind of heavy. Bio World Loot Crate, Harry Potter. You got three things on this keychain. You got your owl right there. That looks really awesome. I wonder if that's Hedwig. Then you got this. It says Harry Potter, Warner Bros. Entertainment. I don't know what this is. It's like one of their school supplies that they use. This is a really cool uh, keychain though. All of, all of the stuff going on is pretty crazy. And it's, it's pretty heavy. This might be close to like half a pound or something. I don't know, it's got some weight to it. Right here it's got like a little small uh, clip carabiner almost on it. That's pretty cool, so you just clip it on. All right, next, I think it's gonna be the pen. Whoa, this is awesome. Uh, Right there, we have a bow truckle pin. Wow, right there, guys. Check that out. Fantastic beasts and where to find them. Bow truckle lapel pin. That is cool. Oh man, I'm happy because I'm a, I'm a Harry Potter nerd. I, I read all of them. There's gonna be, there's a Funko Pop. Let's see what we got. I hope it's an exclusive. We got, oh my, okay, okay. But it's not an exclusive. Right there, we got a Niffler. It's not really a spoiler, but this is the guy in the uh, in the movie who is, he's always stealing like jewelry, coins. Uh, I don't know exactly what they go after. Someone fill me in in the comments what exactly this guy uh, is after. It seems like he's like a uh, treasure hoarder, if I'm not mistaken. He's always going for uh, money and trinkets and jewelry. So really funny uh, scenes in the movie with this guy. So I'm really glad I got that. Now on the back, right there, there's two different wands you can get. One looks like he has a little coin purse or something. I kind of think this one's a little cooler with the money, like the coins in his hand. Now, I'm not sure if this is an exclusive or not. I don't I don't think it is. All right, next. Yo, this looks really cool. So, 
Check out this book. Whoa, this is nice quality and I'm liking the emblem on top. Ah, oh, check that out. Check out that emblem. Magical Congress of the United States of America. It's made out of this like faux leather. It feels really good. This is embroidered into the leather. That feels awesome. Real-time hex indicator. Check that out. It shows everywhere in the US that there's hexes going on. I guess evil magic going on. That is awesome. And gold lined pages. That's pretty cool. I like this map too on the back and it's a pretty good size. So that's an awesome item. Loot Crate, did it again, did it again. Is that it? I think that's it except there is one other thing in here and right here it says, I want to be a wizard. Is this gonna be a wand? That would be cool if they like gave out different wands each time. Oh, I think this is gonna be a paper that shows everything that comes in it. I'm not sure though. And right here it says, welcome to JK Rowling's wizarding world and this month's magical loot. Oh my God, that is awesome. So right there, and it shows everything that you got. The pop figure assortment, wow. So you could have got Newt's, Newt's Commander, Tina Goldstein, the Niffler, Albus Dumbledore, or Jacob Kowalski. And you got the Makusa notebook. That is awesome, guys. That is really awesome right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get pricing and talk about this. So first off, the shirt, I'm gonna give $15, the max value that I give t-shirts. Uh, super soft quality is really great and I love what they did for the design this is really cool I like it so $15 for the shirt the Niffler is not an exclusive you can get this on Amazon for like $9.99 so I'm just gonna give it $10 for the Niffler Funko Pop the Makusa notebook um, I'm gonna give this $10 I'd say it's probably worth 10 to 15 especially it being an exclusive like this but I'm gonna give it $10 uh, this plush right here of pig Widgeon or pig Widgeon how do you pronounce that actually I don't I don't remember them saying the name in the uh, movie but I'm gonna give it $15. The only one I could find was like an 11 inch plus so a lot bigger and it was like $35 on Amazon. So I'm gonna give this one $15, really good quality and it's a pretty decent size. I believe it's an exclusive to this box but I'm not completely sure. I could not find this one online though. So 15, the bow truckle pin. Yo, I would pay, I would, I would straight up pay $5 for this bow truckle pin right here. <clears throat> so I'm gonna give it $5. Uh, usually I give them like three or four, but I really like this pen. So $5 for this. The keychain also very good quality and it's, it's, it's kind of a lot going on here, but I really like it. I'm gonna give it $7 for this keychain. Really good material. It's heavy. It's got the clip on it too. I hate the ones that like you have to like break apart and slip onto the, the other key rings. Um, so this one having a clip, you can put on your bag too. It, it doesn't have to go on your keys. So $7 for that. So in the end, I got $62 for everything in this box and you pay $34.99 plus shipping. So depending where you're at in the world, the shipping is gonna be different. I think to the US, it's probably around $5. So you're almost paying about $40 if you're in the US for this box after shipping. Uh, that also depends on which subscription you bought because you will save money. Down below, I also have some coupons for you guys to use if you do want to get this box. In the end, I thought I thought it was a pretty solid box, actually. Everything was good. I wish I wish there would have been an exclusive Funko Pop. That would have been cooler. Everything else was exclusive, though, except for the Funko Pop. It would have been cool if they could have got an exclusive Funko Pop or, or just an exclusive figure lineup to go with this box. Kind of like the Halo boxes have their own exclusive figures. It would have been really awesome if they just took the Loot Crate company that makes the Halo figures and make a Harry Potter lineup. I want to know what you guys thought about this box, though, the items inside. Uh, I thought it was I thought it was pretty awesome, actually. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be biased towards this box. I'm going to like it um, probably more than people that don't like Harry Potter. Uh, but if, if you're getting this box and you probably like Harry Potter a lot, so you probably love the items. Are there any Harry Potter fans or Magical Beast fans out there that didn't like this box? Comment below. Um, I would like to see you guys uh, comment below and if you're up for it tweet out what you thought of the boxes tag the company tag me in it so I can see what you thought of the box and I will reward you guys for your feedback uh, sometime during the month I might even do two pulls I'm at least gonna do one giveaway winner it all depends on how how good of uh, feedback I get from from this new thing I'm trying to do that's it guys if you like the video thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you guys next time stay solid a cigarette as I watched you walk away turn to a silhouette